Hello everyone, in this special BOP video I take a look at how the balance of performance adjustments for the Daytona 24 special event are shaping up, and also take a look back at the roar before the 24 results. Alright, starting off, here are the results from last weekend's roar before the 24, with the GT4 cars on the left and the TCRs on the right. You can also see on the far left, the BOP that was applied for this event. And for the TCRs, it looks like the Elantra was still the go-to car, even with the 8 kilograms added on, as the median pace was a second faster than the other two cars' median pace. So it seems iRacing maybe didn't go quite far enough, I would say. Then, looking at the GT4s on the other hand, their goal is to seem to bring all other cars to the underperforming Porsche, and that seemed to work, as all the cars are within that one second window on median pace. If anything, I still think the Merc probably could have used an extra kilo or two, added to make it even tighter. But all in all, not bad. Okay, and just a quick reminder, before the next topic, thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, now moving on to the GT3 data for Daytona. On the right, I have the results from this past weekend's IMSA endurance races, which did include the original BOP adjustments for Daytona 24 event. As you can see, the Porsche was still outperforming the field, causing the Ferrari to fall out of that median one second window. But in a pleasant surprise, iRacing on Tuesday announced a slight adjustment to the BOP, decreasing the Porsche's power even further by an additional percentage, making it to minus 2%. And this was also immediately applied to IMSA series running this week's Daytona. And as we can see on that IMSA data on the right, all cars are performing well, with the Porsche still with a slight lead, but within a second of the slowest pace car, the Ferrari. So ultimately, any car is very viable this week if you're good with it. So don't hesitate to drive what you love to drive. I'm still curious the reasoning behind the Ferrari and Mercedes though getting hit with that plus 10 kilograms that seems it could have been dialed maybe down a notch or two just to bring the field even tighter. So there you have it folks. Stay tuned for my regular BOP video later this week and I won't be participating this weekend in the Daytona 24 event but good luck if you are this weekend and I surely will be watching a bunch of streams out there. So until next time, safe driving.